I just found a mealy bug on my Graptivaria fret eyes and so I decided to inspect the other plants around the inner pot and I noticed my Lilacina, uh, the lower leaves were, a lot of them were drying up and I just pulled it out of the pot and um, sure enough there's mealy bugs on it, a lot of them and in this case because it's just, it's got such a beautiful farina. I'm going to try to avoid messing that up by just giving it, um, like washing it in the sink. And that way all the little busters will just go straight down the drain where they belong. So let's go do that. The farina coating is water repellent. So I'm going to do my best, you know, don't touch the tops of the leaves, holding it by the roots and uh, just kind of try washing it. If you do have to touch it, just hold it from the bottom, like this, okay? And then that way only the undersides will, you know, get smudged. Okay, it looks pretty clear, so now I'm just gonna put a towel down and let it dry upside down inside away from my other plants. See? Looks good. Just gonna put it on this towel, let it dry upside down for a few hours, come back, check it again, and then um, probably wait until tomorrow before I decide whether or not it needs to go into a, a separate pot and keep it quarantined or to put it back in the pot that I took it out of. There's a bunch of other succulents in there. Now I gotta get back out there and see if there are any more mealies. Like I said, there were some lower leaves drying on here and that, that sometimes is just normal part of the aging process, but because there were other mealy bugs nearby, I just, something in me said, pull it up and check it out. And there they were, several of them, like all along the stem and underneath the leaves. And I'm sure there was some hiding in between the leaves too, but I think we did a pretty good job getting in there with the water. All right. So here's another one that I'm noticing some dry leaves, kind of like on the Lilacina, and I want to pull it up. Get out of there. Okay, this is gonna get a little messy. And then let's go look at it. Look, I saw a little ant in there. Could have been trying to tend to some mealy bugs on here. Hmm. See that little white dot right there by my thumbnail? It's moving. And that's a mealy bug. I'm just go ahead and do the deed with my thumb. I don't really see any more, but you can tell how tiny these foals are. That one? I think so. So that one's gonna get a bath. Let's go see if there's any more in that pot. This one has the drying lower leaves too. I'm gonna pull that out and check it out. I've already had to treat this one for mealybugs before, so I'm gonna give that one another <coughs> look because they really seem to like this guy, and bingo. Oh, this one, this really got a bad case. Um, hmm. You can see they're just all over this guy. Uh, and this is a Graptopetal and Bellum, and um, it's actually a pretty great plant, but ever since I got it, the mealies keep coming back to this one again and again. Ooh, there's a lot in there. And like I said, I just, I treated this uh, about a month ago and another one. Okay, this is, yep. They're all over this guy. Okay, going in the bath. Since this was right next to it, I'm just assuming there are mealies on it as well. Golly. This is not 
what I want to be dealing with. I'm going to wash that one too, just to be safe. You always wonder, where did that first mealybug come from that started all the trouble? And um, I really don't know in this case. It could have been, there was some on this one, on the baby, not too long ago, and I thought I got them all, um, and there's a chance I didn't, or that Graptopetal and Bellum could have, you know, just been hiding them, couldn't see them. Got one on here. Looking at this guy now. And I think it's okay. Uh, I'm still, just to be safe, going to give it a bath too. And I have a neem oil mixed with water and where I pull them out, I'm just going to spray the dirt. This little guy is from an uh, Echeveria diffractans. It actually formed on the flower stalk and Echeveria diffractans, the shattering Echeveria, are really well known for attracting mealybugs so we're just gonna assume this one needs bath too. A lot of times flowers will attract mealybugs and aphids and what do you know there's one right there so this guy's coming out. This just says a spider. You don't want to get washed. Come on. The movie will be good. This topsy turvy. I thought it was all clear, and then I saw one right there. It. Squish. All right, bath time, y'all. seriously doubt you can see but where that baby is meeting the stem they're a bunch of little tiny mealy bugs Ugh. like I said I'm just gonna leave them on a towel upside down I'm gonna watch them over the next couple of days before I give them all the all clear. That's why it's tricky keeping a bunch of succulents spotted together, all well, the Echeverias at least. Um, I do not have much trouble with mealybugs on any of my other plants. That's also why I don't have nearly as many Echeverias, the rosettes, <laughs> as I used to. But um, they are beautiful, I love them, and um, sometimes you just got to do what you gotta do if you wanna keep them. And that includes giving them a bath. I want to take this dirt and go throw it away in the main trash can because you know there's a bunch of little mealies crawling around in there. And as far as the other the dirt in the main pot, I'm um, just going to keep an eye on it. I don't have time to unpot everything and repot it today. And then I'm going to spray some more neem oil into the soil and hope it does the trick. 
and we're back. It's been two days and I haven't seen a sign of any mealybugs in there. I've inspected them closely and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put them back into the same pot because it's huge and I have a lot of room in it. Um, and I'm going to treat it with this diatomaceous earth which is fossilized algae and it acts as a desiccant which means it dries up any little bugs and it's supposed to also be like really sharp so if any mealy bugs crawl over it it'll chop them up um, that's how it's supposed to work we'll see and again if you water you're gonna have to reapply that and luckily we don't water these very often but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting them back on the pot it's getting kind of noise in the background neighbor kids and chainsaws and birds everywhere so uh, just watch me work watch me sweat and uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below we'll start with the big guys first Lilacina, going back in. Take a little scoop of this. Let's do that first. Put it down around the base. Topsy turvy, going back in. And sprinkle, sprinkle around the base. It's a Escheveri purposorum Dionysus, going back in. It's another big guy. Down in the hole. Down the base. I should bury a tippy back in the hole. I haven't found a mealy on my string of dolphins, and we cannot be having that. It's all, it's fine now. Obviously the DE isn't as pretty. It, it kind of makes the pot looks like it's being treated for something, which it is. But, um, you know, better that than losing your plants. And um, once you, win the battle or that season where all the mealybugs decide to come out and uh, rock your little garden world. Better safe than sorry. Come back on a little brush and clean everything up. You can use the brush to kind of distribute the DE a little bit if you like to put it up the stems a little bit. That's it. We're trying a natural approach first because, you know, I have all my little critters in the backyard, like my lizards and little bugs, and I don't want to do anything to uh, harm them. So we're trying water, we're trying the diatomaceous earth, we are staying vigilant. And if you hear anybody having a problem with mealybugs in a region like yours, um, be sure to get out there and check, in, check your plants closely and um, just listen to your heart, listen to that instinct in you that's like, you know, I don't know, those lower leaves, I don't think there should be that many dropping or, you know, that, that plant looks like it's growing kind of funny or that one's having a, you know, putting out a strange looking leaf or there's all kinds of little signs that you learn along the way.
And there definitely is like a little like radar inside of you if you believe in yourself. <laughs> so um, listen to that. And uh, yeah, wish me luck and I wish you guys luck. And um, this is that time of year, you know, summertime is when mealybugs are at, you know, the worst for me at least. So, uh, you know, doing what we got to do to keep our succulents alive. It's worth it, I think. Don't y'all? Thanks for watching.